Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Alicia Thompson, Associate Vice President of Fund Development, and it is my honor to serve as your Mistress of Ceremonies this morning. I am delighted to welcome you to our 2021 virtual commencement exercise, powered by Alive. To begin our virtual commencement ceremony, we will have a rendition of the national anthem by the Royal Bahamas Police Force Band. Today is a momentous occasion, both in the lives of the class of 2021 and in the life of this institution. Each commencement is special and it is appropriate for us to give thanks for the success of our 2021 graduands who have navigated through COVID-19, a pandemic that has hit the globe. At this time, we will have the invocation by Ms. Paulette Richardson. Please join me in prayer. Our Father, today we pause on this special occasion to praise you for all that you have done. We understand, Lord, that it is by your grace that we are here, and for that we are so thankful. As we celebrate our graduates, we acknowledge that every good and every perfect gift comes from your hand. Thank you for the gift of their lives, for the purpose for which you've created them. May that purpose prevail. We thank you for each individual who has played a role in their lives, our faculty, our staff, the parents, and all those who have extended love to them. Now, Father, we thank you for this great institution that has given our graduates a foundation to build upon. Let its mandate and its significance in our community remain always before our eyes. Fill our hearts, Lord. Fill our minds with the truth and the light that comes only from you. We commit all of this to you, Father in the authority of your son. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Richardson. And now, it is my distinct pleasure to recognize BTVI's president, Dr. Robert W. Robertson, and the members of the BTVI board. Mr. Kevin Bastin, chairman of the BTVI board. Mr. Peter Whitehead, deputy chairman. Dr. Cyprian Strawn, Ms. Myra Mitchell, Ms. Helena Evans, Mr. Clarence Aldry, Mr. Caldwell Pratt, Mr. Michael Pratt, Mr. Dawn Forbes, Mr. Errol Davis. We also acknowledge BTVI's senior executive team. Mrs. Zakia Winder, Associate Vice President of Administrative Services. Mr. Andrew Gape, 
Associate Vice President, CFO. Ms. Veronica Colley, Associate Vice President, Freeport Campus. Dr. Plachette McPhee, Academic Dean. Mrs. Raquel Bethel, Dean of Student Services. Mr. Alexander Darville, Dean of Construction Trades. Mr. Anthony Ramtula, Dean of Information Technology and Distance Learning. Mrs. Samara Roll, Registrar. Graduands, commencement marks a milestone in your lives. As you begin this new journey, please join me in thanking a very important group of people, your parents, family members, and friends. They are also guests of honor at today's commencement ceremony. Graduands, our administrative support staff and faculty have been your teachers, mentors, and supporters during your time at BTVI. We also recognize them and their contributions to your success. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our president, Dr. Robert W. Robertson, to bring remarks. With the customary courtesies already respectfully extended, class of 2021, congratulations on reaching this milestone. You should be proud of yourselves, not only for achieving higher education, but do it, doing it while navigating through a pandemic. You deserve all the accolades. Though the end of your journey was mainly virtual, we understand that the challenges you still had to face, for some classes, some of you never physically met your instructors or your classmates. Some of you had to deal with power outages and poor internet connections, which resulted in missed classes on Zoom and even issues taking exams. Despite these challenges, you still managed to push through and make it to this day graduating from the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, class of 2021. You are the proof that BTBI is more than a place where persons can learn a skill. It is an institution of higher learning that provides students with learning opportunities that enable individuals to be globally competitive and economically independent. With that as our mission, we not only teach skills, we cultivate entrepreneurs. In fact, we are living in a time when lucrative employment is scarce. So I encourage you to use the skills you learned at BTVI to the best of your abilities. Starting your own small business is a viable option. In fact, it was during this pandemic that small businesses mushroomed locally. I encourage you to be creative, be innovative, drive revenue. You are graduating a time when skills are the new currency. You are the key to driving the technological engines that our country and indeed the world are fueled by. Additionally, if you recently visited our campus, you would have noticed some BTVI proud signs that display testimonials from alumni from each of our trade areas. One that I wish to share with you is 2019 Auto Mechanics Graduate and Alive Award of Excellence recipient, Jahil Johnson, who said, BTVI has empowered and assisted me in many ways in giving real world hands-on experiences, as well as teaching management and organizational skills, which have directly contributed to me receiving promotions in the industry, as well as opening avenues for me to become a business owner myself. Class of 2021, there is no reason you cannot achieve the same success. You have received the same quality education as any other graduate. Hence, you will be holding yourself accountable for what steps you take next. BTVI is not the end for you. In the interim, I take this opportunity to publicly thank BTVI's management, staff, and faculty for taking this institution to unprecedented heights to the point that for the first time in our history, five members of our management team 
presented papers at an international conference this year. Additionally, we have again been recognized in 2020 as the Computing Technology Industry Association's CompTIA leading learning partner in the Caribbean and Latin America. Our CompTIA exam results are among the best in the region. Kudos to our IT team. Receiving this recognition at a time when the world is turning to technology shows that BTVI is moving in the right direction. Despite being in the middle of a global pandemic, BTVI embarked on projects that sought to offer solutions for a post-pandemic economy. We developed short courses for those who lost their jobs, were furloughed, or just needed an extra skill to earn extra income. Such projects include the Revive Academy, which was an initiative by the Citizens Security and Justice Program for at-risk youth, the Teaching Essentials Nano Degree, the National Center for Construction, Education and Research, <coughs> NCCER, training for industry and future craftsmen and more. These initiatives contributed to an increase of BTVI's brand throughout the country while our reputation of being the premier technical and vocational institute in the Bahamas has been sustained and enhanced. Class of 2021, as you continue to pursue your dreams, remember those who have helped you along the way. Remember that friend who watched your children while you were in Zoom meetings. Those instructors who gave an extension when you really needed it. Also, remember that neighbor who allowed you to use their Wi-Fi when yours was down, or that family member who let you use their electricity when there, out, there were outages in your area. And the best, thank you to all donors who made it possible for you to graduate today. It's out there and it's honestly your skills that make a difference. Class of 2021, as you leave our institute, I implore you to always be professional show integrity and always give your best efforts in everything you do. Be the auto mechanic that you wish to repair your own vehicle. Be the office administrator the vice president is confident leaving in charge. Be the IT consultant who is sought after by Google. Be the fashion designer whose work will one day be seen on red carpets worldwide. Be all that you can be. Never stop aiming high and discovering the possibilities. Again, congratulations and best wishes. Dr. Robertson, thank you for those key points, including encouraging the class of 2021 to use the skills learned at BTVI to possibly start their own businesses, remembering to be professional and always have integrity. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce BTVI's chairman, Mr. Kevin Bastin, to bring remarks. As chairman of the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute's board, it is one of my great honors each afternoon here to address the graduating class on commencement day. The fact that you are graduating is proof of your hard work. You made it through virtual classes, and in some cases, blended classes, in a time when perhaps some of your family members are out of work or facing other negative impacts due to COVID-19. Understandably, life has become more challenging, but your graduation today speaks to your resilience. It's a trait that we will serve you well throughout life. This is the second consecutive year that BTVI has had virtual graduation due to COVID-19. As we navigate this crisis, which transcends borders, the board is proud of the BTVI community. We kept going. We did it for you. We did it for ourselves. We did it for our nation, as we are committed to our mission to provide learning opportunities that enable individuals to be globally competitive, economically independent. Throughout this pandemic, BTVI's mission has been our North Star. It has provided a focus to keep us aligned with our mandate to close the skills gap even though we had to pivot how we do things to remain safe. Class of 2021, you are graduating from an institution which remains a local model of excellence in technical vocational education and training. 
I take this opportunity to acknowledge that your accomplishments are due, in part, to the dedication of our instructors and staff who have helped to create learning environment that prepares each of you to be engaged citizens. In addition, you would not have accomplished your certificate, diploma, or degree without the support of your circles, people who have championed your dreams, parents, spouses, children, other family members, friends, employers, just to name a few. For many of you, today's accomplishment is also owed in part to the supporters of BTVI, whether through the government tuition grant and the government has heavily invested in this initiative, the Vincent Diagla Memorial Scholarship, or another organization which has so graciously provided scholarships. We are also thankful for industry, which assists with internships, advisory via professional advisory committees, and identifying the skills gaps which need to be filled. Additionally, on behalf of the board, I wish to extend congratulations to the BTVI team for a phenomenal year. We are also so grateful and honored to the Prime Minister himself, the most honorable Hubert Minnis, and by extension, the government of the Bahamas has placed such great confidence in BTVI. One example is giving us carriage for the government's information, communication, technology, IC, ITC program, which this summer will see the completion of the first cohort after the three-year training. Our capable instructors have trained students leaving the ninth grade through 12th graders in coding and developing websites, cybersecurity, and networking concepts, etc. By the time they leave this program, they would have earned 30 college credits and several certifications. It's a phenomenal program, which speaks volumes of the government's thrust to embed information communication technology as a part of national development, and BTVI is proud to play a role in preparing our nation for technological advances. We are also grateful for the support and confidence of the Honorable Minister Jeffrey Lloyd. He not only provides general guidance, but continues to champion technical vocational education and training. Class of 2021, as BTVI's chairman, I'm determined to ensure that the board remains vigilant in our vision. It is our responsibility to establish the policies by which the mission of the institution is accomplished. We take our role seriously, and we expect that when you enter the workforce, or as you continue in the workforce, that you take your role seriously. I encourage you to always have integrity, civic responsibility, and demonstrate positive leadership traits. And I must underscore integrity, because the reality is, no matter how good you are at what you do, a lack of integrity will discredit your name. Remember, we are training you not just for the labor market, but for the world of entrepreneurship. And we are excited that we are playing a role to help you to discover the possibilities. Finally, Remember, learning is lifelong. While you have completed this phase, there's much more to accomplish. Class of 2021, again, a well-deserved congratulations. Thank you for those inspiring comments, Mr. Baston. Yes, the class of 2021 is graduating from an institution which remains the local model of excellence in technical, vocational education and training. And we agree, learning is lifelong. There is more for the class of 2021 to do. It is now my honor to introduce the Minister of Education, the Honorable Jeffrey L. Lloyd, to share a special message for our graduates. My dear graduates, it is once again my pleasure to greet you on this day of celebration as you have reached a significant milestone on your professional journey. I celebrate with you as your achievements come amid the vicissitudes of an invasive global pandemic. You have overcome the odds and you've taken one giant step toward fulfilling your dreams. For years as Minister of Education, I have been accentuating the urgency and the demand for proficiency in technical and vocational fields. These are the professions that will propel our economy and our country to prosperity. During this COVID-19 era, professional routines have been altered, which now increases the demand for competency in technical skills. My friends, 
Your training, I am sure, has equipped you with practical skills that can be put to use immediately. Now more than ever, the world demands skilled technicians as carpenters, mechanics, welders, electricians, information technology specialists, web designers, plumbers, construction managers, civil engineers, and many, many, many more. You have not only just reached a milestone, you have placed yourselves on the path to financial, physical, mental, and emotional prosperity. Many statistical projections indicate that millions of technical and vocational jobs will go unfulfilled within the next decade due to a skills gap. My dear graduates, today you are helping to close that gap. And I challenge you to inspire others to do the same as the opportunities continue to unfold. This is evidenced in the fact that through the government's free tuition grant, Bahamians from all walks of life have access to technical and vocational education and training at a higher level of education. Currently, thousands of BTVI students are being funded by the government of the Bahamas with the most subscribed programs being business and IT programs. I am particularly proud of BTVI's information and communications technology partnership with the government to educate youth in the ever-evolving technology field, fulfilling the mission to increase employability opportunities and tighten the country's skills gap. This partnership gave birth to the three-year dual enrollment program, which recruits students from the 10th grade. I am pleased to hear that the first cohort will graduate this summer, with many of them earning some 30 college credits and several international certifications. What is even more satisfying to me is that many of them have already had early acceptance to college-based universities with the credits that they have earned. Moreover, hundreds have received National Center for Construction uh, Education and Research, that's the NCCER, their certification, with recipients hailing from Moores Island, Grand Bahama, Bimini, New Providence, Inagua, among other islands. This international certification is a training, assessment, and certification standard for construction and maintenance craft professionals with the core certification program focusing on fundamentals of construction site safety, ranging from construction math and construction drawing to material handling, rigging, and communication skills. We are very grateful for the partnership of Valencia College in the execution of this initiative, as these certifications are vital to the sustenance of our economy, particularly during these economically challenging times. My dear graduates, your education and training at BTVI were all in an effort to prepare you to become globally competitive and economically independent in a competitive workforce. We are grateful to you and your team members and to the teachers who have assisted you in getting to this place. Particular mention to Mr. Kevin Baston, who is the chair of the board and his team, as well as Dr. Robert Robertson and his team on the executive level. As you navigate your next phase, I implore you to adopt three simple attributes. The first has been taught to us by the invisible terrorist COVID-19. Be resilient. Resilience is mustering up the strength to overcome obstacles and hardships. You must know that success is not instant. It is complemented by challenges that come in many different forms. It is then that you tap into your strengths and the support of your loved ones as you work your way through, realizing that life demands that you adapt as necessary. Be encouraged. As James 1, 2-4 says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you are involved in various trials because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, end quote. As you climb the ladder of success, you can say, just like the late Nelson Mandela said, and I quote, do not judge me by my success. 
judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. End quote. Secondly, I challenge you to be patient. We live in a world where so many of us desire a microwaved version of success, desirous of quick fixes and instant wealth. Patience calls for you not comparing yourself, your pace, your talents to others. As God has gifted each one uniquely with a special divine purpose. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7 says this, quote, Do not be anxious about anything. Instead, in every situation, through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, tell your requests to God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. End quote. The familiar table, or rather familiar fable, the turquoise and the hair is a perfect reminder of the importance of patience in your pursuit of success. To everyone, it seemed that the hare would win the race as his pace was much faster than the toy toys. Meanwhile, the tortoise patiently maintained his slow pace, even though he was mocked by the care. In the end, the arrogant hare lost the race, while the patient tortoise ignored the naysayers and remained focused to reach the finish line first. And finally, my dear graduates, your success mission is not complete without the attribute of integrity. Integrity says, I will be honest, morally and ethically sound, virtuous, fair, and at all times, be sound. Graduates, the training you have received at BTVI has equipped you to not only become employees, but you also possess the tools to become employers. Your training, coupled with a dose of wisdom, is more than enough to ignite your entrepreneurial capabilities. As an employee or employer, integrity is essential to your success. In the words of the noble American writer, quote, creating a culture of integrity and accountability not only improves effectiveness, it also generates a respectful, enjoyable, and life-giving setting in which to work, end quote. My beloved graduates, 250 of you will be moving on to the next phase of your lives. You possess the power to change our world for the better. Just one person fulfilling his or her purpose is one step closer to effecting positive change. I commend Dr. Robert Roberts, President of the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, for his innovative leadership in ensuring that our country continues to propagate qualified, skilled, and globally competitive workers. Graduates, as I mentioned earlier, you may encounter stumbling blocks on your journey to the top, with some experiences so intense that life changes drastically. At such a time, reflect on the words of the late Maya Angelou. I quote, I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. End quote. Congratulations, and God bless you. Thank you. Minister Lloyd, for those inspiring remarks. Minister Lloyd is a huge supporter of technical vocational education and training, and we are grateful that he has taken time out of his busy schedule to encourage you. Indeed, the world is your oyster. Again, thank you to Minister Lloyd. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so pleased to introduce our 2021 commencement speaker, Mr. Lars N. Mins. Lars N. Mins is currently the head of HR for Mercedes-Benz USA with responsibility for the US and Canada. He joined the company in March, 2015. He currently leads the organization in designing implementing and executing HR strategies that directly align with the company's strategic objectives for the sales, marketing, and distribution of passenger cars in the United States and Canada. He and his team have played a pivotal role in the successful onboarding of 300 plus new employees since his arrival, the largest 
one year hiring the company has experienced in its 50 plus year history. He and his team are now poised to lead one of the world's most admired brands through a large scale transformation. Prior to joining MBUSA, he served as the senior manager of talent acquisition for the Home Depots at Home Services, commonly referred to as the Do It For Me business. He led his team in executing talent acquisition strategies for the company's fastest growing business segment. Mr. Mins spent 10 years with the Home Depot and served in roles of increasing responsibility. Most notably, serving as the Senior Manager of Talent Management for Operations, Services, Finance and IT. He led all facets of talent management and supported those business areas in several large-scale transformational efforts aimed at increasing overall operational efficiencies. Before joining the company, Lars held various roles in IT consulting, sales, and recruiting during the dot-com and Y2K eras. He is the current chair for the Society of HR Management Atlanta, a member of leadership Atlanta's class of 2021, and board of trustee for Mount Vernon Presbyterian School. Mr. Mins is a sought after presenter and facilitator and spends considerable time communicating the importance of cultivating the right talent for business success. Our graduation speaker earned a bachelor's degree in business management from Hampton University in Hampton, Virginia. A native of Nassau, Bahamas, he is married to Moya Mins calligrapher and owner of MM Inc. Studio. They reside in Sandy Springs, Georgia with their three children, Landon, Latham, and Leon. Without further delay, please join me in welcoming Mr. Lars N. Mins. Good afternoon, Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute family. Greetings from Atlanta, Georgia, the home of Mercedes-Benz USA, where I'm not only the chief HR officer of this incredible company, but a proud ambassador of the 242. My name is Lars Mins, and I'm honored to have been asked by Dr. Robert Robertson to address the class of 2021, or dare I say, the esteemed class of 2021. I'd like to thank him, certainly the faculty, the staff, and all of those affiliated with BTVI for continuing the quest to provide access, opportunity, excellence, and hope to Bahamian students that seek to pursue a technical or vocational education. BTVI without a doubt has a rich heritage that continues to get better. And to you the graduates, I bring to you a few remarks along with advice that has proven to be instrumental in my life and career. Firstly, congratulations for such a tremendous accomplishment. You've earned it. And despite the challenges along the way, COVID or otherwise, you've proven that you had what it took to be your very best. Secondly, a few words of advice as you now prepare for the long journey ahead. To help you remember what I share today, I want you to consider three Ps. Plan, prepare, and proceed. Plan. Your milestone without a doubt has been reached, and once again, congratulations. You did it. Take some time to relax, celebrate, reflect, and then reset. This journey will be longer than most, as it will have no end. If it were a game, it would be called the infinite game. A game where there really are no boundaries. A game that doesn't stop, and at times may feel like it, it has never really started. Once you've reset, be sure to set a new milestone. As the old saying goes, if you have no plan, any road, road will get you there. Set a new milestone for what it will make of you to help you stretch beyond where you are today. More importantly, plan for a long journey. Pack neither light or heavy, but for a journey that allows you to collect along the way, to continue to learn, relearn, to think, and then to rethink. Prepare. Once you have a plan, break your milestone down into steps 
that you'd like to achieve based on what's first, second, third on your priority list. Live in the present. Achieve now. But most importantly, build disciplines that create the foundation for your future growth. And even more important, use the life cycle, the cycle of life. Aspire, succeed, fail, learn, and start again. And do it over and over again. Proceed. Similar to your educational pursuits, you learned very quickly that results are really the name of the game. Your actions have an outcome. You will be remembered by what you do versus what you say. Always be in the mode of action. Become comfortable with repeating daily disciplines and routines despite how simple they seem. This is a constant state of movement that helps you achieve your plan, validate your, your preparation, and breathes confidence into how best to proceed. Graduates of BTVI's class of 2021, I leave you with a great quote that has, been, that has changed my entire outlook on life and career. It's simple. Success is something that you attract by the person you become. In all that you've accomplished, your success has been a byproduct of the process and in direct proportion to the person that you've become. Said differently, your success is not something you pursue. It is something that you attract by the person you become. Continue to attract success by daily becoming a better version of yourself. Be a better, more giving person. Be a better, more noble person. And I assure you that you'll attract the success that you desire. I wish nothing but the very best for you in this long journey ahead. And I think I speak for the entire administration of BTVI that we've saved a seat for you in the winner's circle. I thank you and Godspeed. Thank you, Mr. Mins, for sharing those words of wisdom with us. We are honored by your presence and your impactful words of wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the moment you have all been waiting for. The president of the Institute will now confer the certificates, diplomas, and associate of applied science degrees. I ask the Academic Dean, Dr. Plachet Mathie, and the Registrar, Mrs. Samara Roll, to come forward for the presentation of graduands. The Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute recognizes excellence by rewarding students who meet the specific GPA requirements for the President's and Honors List. To graduate with honors list status, students must have a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.5 to 3.74 and meet all program credit hour requirements. To graduate with president's list status, students must have a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.75 to 4.0 and meet all program credit hour requirements. Honors list recipients are indicated by a gold cord over the academic regalia and President's List recipients are indicated with a white cord over the academic regalia. President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates from the service trades who are to receive certificates in barbering, natural hairstyling, nail technology, and aesthetics. These candidates have completed all requirements for the certificates. Patrice Bab Hepburn, O'Neill Charlton, Tonya Ferguson, Neka Wells, Shakara Pinder, Taylor Roll, Lynette Smith, Prashika Bain. Kathleen Butler, Cara Colley, Kevandria Hepburn, Kenise Ingram Watkins, Irina Key, Brittany Lundy, Shavante Moss, Erla Ramming, Sasha Ramsey, Rache Richardson, 
Heather Ritchie, Kenia Rocks, Alexis Sands Panther, Ashanti Smith, Shantia Wallace, Cameron Williams. Jem Brainin, Taja Brown, Shamara Burrows, Felice Cooper, Malisha Dean, Ashante Ellis, Anastasia Farrington, Antoinique Ferguson, Radia Finlayson, Katira Gibson, Raquel Griffin, Trevette Higgs, Stacia Holmes, Sylvanair Hoyt, Cheryl Humes, Cecilia Hunter Williams, Erica Jean Pierre, Shapri Lewis, Cassandra Lewis Moore, Roisha Lightborn, Wilda Lubin, Dariana Michelle. Michelle Morris, Janice Monroe, Chrisley Neely, Jolice Newbold, Opal O'Brien, Latonya Outen, Eriquel Parker, Nakara Poitier, Tia Smith Miller, Donica Tinker. President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates from the construction trades who are to receive certificates in carpentry, electrical installation, heating ventilation, and air conditioning, plumbing, and welding. These candidates have completed all requirements for the certificates. Kendall Davis. Christian Fernanda. Recall Bell, DeAndre Bonaby, Chantuan Beau, Eduardo Burrows, Kazim Duncan, Miko Emmanuel, Geraldo Fox, Kyle Green, Quiniqua Hall. Tamarzio Henfield, Kevondre Heald, Garth Hepburn, Jalen Johnson, Takeem Knowles, Trinard Major, Kenrick Roker, Roshan Roll, Sarah Swain, Darren Taylor, Clint Wilson, Farron Young, Rodney Evans, Jonil Monroe, Devon Roll, Christopher Hanna, Dominic McKenzie, Alexo Sanders, Johnny Peterson, Trent Russell, Ravon Wins. President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates from the electronic trades who are to receive certificates in electronics and cable installation and media technology. These candidates have completed all requirements for the certificates. Javon Anthony, Sherez Bridgewater, Howard Russell, 
William Stiles, David Taylor, Talia Williams, Andrew LaRota. President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates from the Information Technology Trade Area who are to receive certificates and diplomas in Information Technology Entry Level and Information Technology Support Specialist. These candidates have completed all requirements for the certificates. Donero Albury, Allison Johnson, Dante Knowles, Therese Miller, Quano Nottage, Crystal Sweeting, Olafami Williams. President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates from the business trades who are to receive certificates in Office Assistant and Human Resources Management. These candidates have completed all requirements for the certificates. Claudette Asafate, Jancy Adderley, Jonelle Adderley, Latavia Black, Tatiana Black, Ivana Bullard, Dorothy Butler, Betty Campbell, Jessica Campbell, Shandy Campbell, Danette Carroll, Elvana Cartwright, Sherelle Charlton, Chantelle Clark, Lakitra Colbrook, Latoya Colby, Philippa Cooper, Will Tisha Dean, Angel Eskimars, Shanae Fox, Tamara Francis, Shaquille Gator, Rubenique Gilbert, Mariah Gordon, Jonette Green, Michaela Green, Jerlisa Hutchinson, Charlotte Johnson, Champagne Kerr, Shandira Kerr, Vernicia King, Anastasia Knowles, Carla McPhee, Patriana McPhee, Keytron Meadows, Marley Mercias, Jade Newbull, Lagasse Nimor DeVoe, Shantika Nixon, Sadie Nottage, Aliso Oliver, Chriselle Outen, DeAndre Ellie Pickstock, Eunice Pinder, Jessica Pratt McKinney, Dominic Ramming, Delson Roker, Andrea Roll, Lanishka Roll, McQuell Roll, Tamara Roll Sands, Sheila Sands, Arnett Sands Morris, Cyril Saunders, Sherd Saunders, Jetta Sears, Aaliyah Smith, Abigail Smith, Andrea Smith, Kelsine Smith, Lynette Smith, Teasel Smith, Thomasine Stewart, Yvonne Sweeting, Kevin Watson, Georgie Mae Williams, Nakara Brooks, Clementina Burrows, Mikkel Butler, Carolyn Dames, 
Ikea Davis, Priscilla Davis, Olisira Dean, Teresa Dickinson, Bernika Evans, Emeronique Fowler, Christina Gilbert, Mona Lisa Johnson, Prestina Jones, Anal Deldra McIntosh, Rachel McIntosh Johnson, Shanae McKenzie, Devonia Meadows, Brandy Oliver, Alastair Pinder, Javari Roberts Williams, Joan Roker, Gavinique Roll, Sandra Roll, Vernette Roll, Chantelle Russell, Larry Stanislaus, Demetria Storr, Daria Taylor, Laniqua Ward, Sophia Wild Goose, Ariana Wright. President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates from the automotive trades area who are to receive diplomas in auto mechanics. These candidates have completed all requirements for the diploma. Luigi Alcires, Gabriel Bullard, Stefan Butters, Evan Dormius, Kareem Jones. President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates from the fashion trade area who are to receive certificates in fashion design production one and diplomas in fashion design production two. These candidates have completed all requirements for the certificate and diploma. Viola Hasty Knowles, President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates from the beauty trades area who are to receive diplomas in massage therapy and cosmetology. These candidates have completed all requirements for the diploma. Brinell Allen, Alicia Bain, Jabbar Benaby, Felicity Bevins, Tahelia Carey, Zahira Cumberbatch Hanlon, Yurik Dean, Tila Duncan, Candice Hawkins, Crystal Hoyt, Vernika Jardine. Patrice Kemp, Tyus Kemp, Victorian Knowles, Jeanne Lightborn, Arnel Lloyd, Kristen McDonald, Rhonda. McDonald, Felicity Monroe, Esther Pierre, Alicia Ramming, Darissa Roll, Troy Seymour. Jade Smith, Hanya Sweeting, Shakira Sweeting, Duran Taylor, Brandy Bodie, Lynette Bridgewater, Felicia Burrows, Shante Burrows, Dahana Charles, Lanika 
Claire, Tanisha DeVoe, Rahima Farrington, Laverne Gardner, Jonique Lightborn, Michelle Mackey, Clarissa Mignot, Raylanda Miller, Alina Nelson, Amber Newbold, Kayvon Newbold, Aliyah Outen, Morgan Pearson, Quisane Roll, Nicolette Sands, Rishé Sands, Tyrese Sands, Kenesia Scott, Justine Simone, Brianna Smith, Byronique Wims, Lisa White, Ashley Wright. President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates who are to receive an Associate of Applied Science degree in Construction Technology. These candidates have completed all requirements for this degree. Tavares Dames, Donna Evans, Caleb Hart, Shantina Humes, Devano Sims, Rashad Thompson. President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates who are to receive an Associate of Applied Science degree in Information Technology Management, Information Technology Software Engineering, Information Technology Network Engineering, and Electronics Engineering Installers and Repairers. These candidates have completed all requirements for these degrees. Mario Bethel, Devonta Ferguson, Chanaldo McKinsey, Clarice Moxie, Akeem Palmer, Shante Sands, Samikia Saunders, Jessica Simonet, Giovanno Collins, Denzel DeVoe, Shahan Wallace, Perez Kummer, Shatino Dorsett, Bobby Bethel, Brandon Burroughs, Lernix Colby, Shenando Moss, Dominic Roach. President Robertson, it is with great pride that I present to you the candidates who are to receive an Associate of Applied Science degree in Office Administration, Human Resource Management, and Business Office Technology. These candidates have completed all requirements for these degrees. Marina Allard, Ashley Clark, Frederica Anderson, Takesha Bullard, Kissy Davis Boleg, Candice Dean, Marva Gibson, Jeffrika Hepburn, Todd Hilton, Sandra Johnson, Stakia Johnson, Antonique Lewis, Marsha Major, Mertis McKinsey, Yolanda McKinney Gibson, Terry Ann Milton, Sharita Moore, Shaniqua Moss, Valenka Phileas, Antonio Roberts, 
Shaquel Roberts, Quade Robinson, Sophia Roll, Topaz Roll Davis, Joanna St. Hilaire, Ashley Smith, Lantania Sterling, Ruche Stewart, Rakia Stubbs, Danica Thompson, Siavana Tucker, Shayana Turnquest, Elaine Wells, Sibylline Williams, Chantel Adderley, Melinda Albury, Candy Antonio, Angelica Benaby, Jamal Clark, Edwinique Kummer, Natalia Durham, Bernard Ferguson Jr., Crystalie Lee Finn Latter, Kendra Fox, Janae Johnson, Sonovia Kelly, Danica Marshall, Erica McIntosh, Miguel Miller, Kadrin Moxie Carey, Shanette Newton, Loretta Pinder, Stanisha Pinder, Larissa Roll, Bianca Roll Seymour, Elton Sands, Rhonda Saunders, Ricota Wood, Mona Lisa Antonio Williams, Brittany Black, Keisha Jones, Sasha McIntosh, Geraldine Ramming, Stephanie Russell, Anithra Russell Clare. It is now my honor to hereby confer your certificates, diplomas, and Associate of Applied Science degrees and declare you fully entitled to their rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities. And now, as a symbol of your new status, you may move the tassels on your caps from right to left. Congratulations and best wishes to you all. Thank you very much, Dr. Robertson. On behalf of my colleagues throughout BTVI, congratulations to our 2021 graduates. And I am delighted to welcome all of you to the BTVI family. At this time, it is my pleasure to invite Mr. John Gomez, Alive's Chief Alive Officer, to make a special presentation. Good day, I'm John Gomez, Chief Alive Officer. As an engineer, I can fully appreciate the importance of a technical education and the important role that BTVI plays in providing this foundation for its students. At Alive, we firmly believe that the investing in the youth of the nation is essential to the continued successful building of the country especially in this new digital era. As such, we are pleased to partner with BTVI in this initiative and also congratulate the leadership team for its work and vision. And now to the Alive Award of Excellence. The Alive Award of Excellence recognizes graduates who distinguish themselves in the following categories. Academic excellence, perseverance, campus and community involvement, personal growth, and passion for their chosen career. For the fifth consecutive year, we are pleased to announce the winners of the Alive Award of Excellence for New Providence and Grand Bahama. Our Alive Award of Excellence with winner for New Providence hails from generations of master stylists. Notwithstanding the wealth of knowledge provided by her background, she enrolled in the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute to remain on the cutting edge of her craft. She is actively involved in the volunteer initiatives of the Shell Saxon Superstars, and she is an avid sports enthusiast. She displayed her school spirit through participation in various fundraising initiatives, as well as surveys and focus groups designed to improve campus life. She took course overloads while working a part-time job, 
and yet still remain focused. Her nickname is Brainiac, and her favorite adage is, what is meant for you won't pass you by. Our new Providence recipient is graduating with a diploma in cosmetology from the Beauty Trades Department and has earned a cumulative GPA of 3.843. We congratulate Ms. Rahima Farrington. Our Alive Award of Excellence winner for Grand Bahama is described as respectful and hardworking. Through trial and error, he has persevered along his academic journey. His desire and interest in the field of auto mechanics is portrayed in his stellar academic performance. He actively displayed his craft by working on the vehicles of faculty and staff. He also participated in on-campus car wash initiatives. His favorite quote is, expect the unexpected and least expected. He credits his success to his mother. Our Grand Bahama recipient is graduating with a diploma in auto mechanics from the auto trades department and boasts a cumulative GPA of 3.75. We congratulate Mr. Stefan Buttis. Alive congratulates both awardees as well as all other participants. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations to our Alive 2021 Graduate Award of Excellence recipients. And now I would like to invite Ms. Laverne Gardner to the podium to present the student response. In the words of Confucius, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. With the courtesies already haven't been extended, I bid you all good morning. I give God thanks for his grace and strength, even as I stand here today with a dream realized. My journey began in 2018 when, after nearly 20 years as an interior decorator, I made the life-altering decision to pursue a career in cosmetology. I recall the excitement as I entered the campus of the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute for the very first time. I remember arriving at school on the first day dressed from head to toe in white. The fear of having to keep those scrubs clean kept me on edge, but I learned quickly that spray and wash and OxyClean would become my closest friends. That was the beginning of my thousand mile journey. I stand here today graduating with a cumulative GPA of 3.961, not by happenstance but by hard work and determination. On average, I spent 13 hour days on campus, practically every day. And BTVI became my home away from home. The staff became my family. The security officers were accustomed to me arriving early, so much so that I had a designated parking spot. I ate at BTVI, I studied at BTVI, and on one day between classes, I even slept at BTVI. I can still remember the startled look on Mr. Tico Major's face when he came into the aesthetics lab one evening expecting to see an empty room, but instead stumbled across a few sleepy-headed Cosmo students who were taking an afternoon siesta before our six o'clock open labs. To this day, we are so grateful that Dr. Donnelly Laverne Bain Minnis was not the one to discover us. This was another leg in my thousand mile journey. The journey was not always easy, but the friendships developed along the way and the support and mentorship of instructors like Dr. Portia Roll, Dr. Delores Taylor and Ms. Charlene Woods made it all worthwhile. I remember my disappointment when things didn't always go as planned. Like the time when in hair coloring class, what should have been a pink head of hair turned out to be orange. And when in another class, the shampoo hose got away from me and I soaked up a few of my classmates and a guest, 
I also recall the frustration in Math 1100 during the spring of 2020, when I am certain that I used up all of Mr. Gordon's cell phone minutes as he explained how to solve one problem after the next. But that was another leg in my thousand mile journey. One valuable lesson I learned through this entire journey is that no man is an island. Had it not been for the support of my family, my journey would have been that much more difficult. Thanks to my husband, Wendell and Mother Paula, who gladly volunteered as models for my practicum, and my daughter, Wendelin and siblings, Sharice, Denise, and Keith, who offered moral support. Thanks to Dr. Tiffany Roll, who, although I knew I had earned 100%, gave me 99% instead, along with an explanation that no one is perfect. This was a reminder that there's always room for improvement. As we graduate from our various programs, I challenge my fellow graduates never to give up, never to give in, never settle, and never be afraid to try new things. We have gotten this far without limiting ourselves. And I encourage you, as you advance, to remain focused, zealous, and innovative. My fellow graduates, I congratulate you because we did it. We have completed the course and finished the race, this race. There will be more to come and we will tackle those legs with as much fervor as we did this one. Thank you, BTVI, for being the strong institution that you are. With the recent challenges the world is experiencing, you succeeded in holding your own. Thank you, instructors, for imparting a wealth of knowledge and tolerating us every day, whether it was face-to-face or via Zoom. I end with a quote from the late Dr. Miles Monroe. When God has selected you, it doesn't matter who has neglected you. God's favor outweighs all opposition. You are a winner, and to God be the glory. Thank you, Laverne. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us this morning on this auspicious occasion. At this time, I invite the Dean of Student Services, Mrs. Raquel Bethel, to bring the acknowledgments. Graduates, despite it all, you made it. Congratulations. Let me begin by thanking our president, Dr. Robert Robertson, and our chairman, Mr. Baston, for your updates and encouraging remarks. To the BTVI board members, we are truly grateful for your continued support. Minister Lloyd, we thank you for your timely remarks and we appreciate that you shared this momentous occasion with us. I would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to Mr. Mins, our commencement speaker, for his words of wisdom. Continue to make the Bahamas proud. To our graduates, thank you for your lively presentation, which has inspired us all. You represented the class of 2021 well. To our sponsors alive, we express a heartfelt thanks. Thank you for your presence and your company support helps to make this event a great success. It's good to be alive. To Ms. Richardson, a very heartfelt thank you for taking us before the throne of grace to the 2021 graduation committee who planned and executed this virtual commencement ceremony. We're so grateful for all of your hard work and dedication. Thank you. On behalf of the president of BTVI and its executive team, we would also like to express our appreciation to the faculty, administrators, and staff of BTVI. You've worked assiduously to help our students realize their potential and pursue their dreams. 
all our special guests, family, friends, partners, and supporters of BTVI, we say many thanks. Finally, to our graduates, let me offer my warmest congratulations to you. I trust that you have a successful future. This day signifies a new beginning for each of you. You can now call yourselves alumni of the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute. And we anticipate that you would support and promote the institution. Today marks a wonderful milestone in your lives and we wish you all the best. Class of 2021, congratulations. Thank you so much, Mrs. Bethel. I would like to congratulate the class of 2021 once more. Well done. We have finally completed our virtual ceremony. Thank you once again for joining us this morning. As our ceremony has come to an end, Ms. Richardson will now deliver the benediction. Graduates, go out in joy as you celebrate your achievement here today. May the Lord help you to stay true to your dreams, to use your gifts wisely, and to walk in the future with faith, with hope, and with great love. Go out with strength, clothed and equipped with all that you've learned. Go out in wisdom as God renews your mind. And now, may the Lord bless you and may he keep you. And may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious towards you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Amen. <laughs>